Hey, what's up, guys? Tar Hill Yak Daddy here. Um, we are at Lake Norman, the 2017 Carolina Kayak Angler season is upon us. It starts a week from today, next Saturday, here at Lake Norman, first tournament of the year. So, we're here doing a little pre fishing. Um, today is supposed to be in the 60s, um, which is nice for February 11th, um, a little cloud cover, a lot of wind out on the main lake makes it really frustrating, I'm back in a cove now, um, so it's not bad back in the coves, but out on the main lake the wind is just horrible. I'm throwing a deep diving crankbait that I caught fish on here at Norman before. And I'm uh, trying to throw a skip a swim jig and a jig around these docks. Um, but like I said, I'm not awesome at that. So there's that. Um, I, I came away on Lake Norman that I've never went before. Um, when I've caught fish every time here before, I go to the left out of the boat, boat ramp at Stumpy Creek Access where you put in. Um, and I've been to the right and haven't caught any fish back there. So today I started out, um, headed out across the main lake and went that way um, towards the big power plant. Um, lake Norman is a Duke power plant lake. Um, it, Lake Norman cools the power plant so it's a heated lake. Um, it, that's why we fish it in February early. I mean the water's still cold but not as cold as it would be in other lakes. And if you get up towards the power plant and the hot spot, um, it's even warmer there. hit that pontoon boat um, so there's that like I said it's been frustrating so far fighting the wind fighting but skipping these docks and not being too successful yet um, but like I said last year it's it's the reason I like to pre-fish. Um, not only does it help me know what works, it helps me know what doesn't work. Um, sorry. So if, if I'm not successful in catching any fish um, here today, I'll do what's worked for me in the past and head off down the other way. But, uh, a guy leaf blowing up there, so we'll fish this ripper out with a crankbait and I'll check back in with you guys. Alright, guys, a quick tip when you're fishing a lake with a bunch of docks um, is look for rod holders when you come up to the docks. Um, if you don't have a depth finder like me, right now at this moment I don't have one but if you don't have one um, rod holders on docks is a good indication that there's submerged brush piles out off the dock um, people who have docks on lakes will often put submerged brush piles out around their dock um, 
to attract fish so they can fish off their docks. So, if you're fishing a lake with a lot of docks, look for rod holders and fish out around that dock. Um, Norman is pretty much the only lake I fish that has docks. Um, I can't think of any that I fish back in my area that has docks. Falls, Jordan, Sharon Harris, they're all Army Corps of Engineers on lakes and they don't have docks. Kerr Lake has docks. Um, I don't fish there all that often, but I do some. They have docks. Um, that's about it. So, there's a good tip. Alright guys, well, it's been a rough day. Um, I ain't got anything. Um, talked to some guys, some boat guys that hadn't got anything. Um, seems like we can't seem to find them. Um, I'm getting, I think I've got getting pretty good at skipping these docks um, like that with the cast it's just a matter of um, getting the reel set up right so it don't backlash um, and speaking of reel I want to share a tip with you guys that really helped me that I saw on Fluke Masters channel so go check his channel out if you don't already which I'm sure you do but um, it's about adjusting your reel um, so what he said to do was take your brake all the way off to the lowest setting um, engage your spool and you want your bait to slowly fall like mine is there I've already done it on this, so the bait slowly falls, no spool runs off, and then once you have that set, you engage your brake back to exactly half. And um, I saw that on his video, and I did it here today, and it's working perfectly. Um, except for skipping the docks, which I found I've got my brake all the way up spool tension really tight and I'm just slinging it under those docks um, letting it skip and with the spool tight and the brake all the way up it's working pretty good but uh there's some tips for you houses good lord it's the way to live right here look at that mansion beside these two little shacks crazy trailer next to them. Well guys, we're almost back here at the boat ramp. Horrible, brutal day. Windy. Backlashes. Line tangled. No fish. It's a rough day. Glad I drove two hours for this. week and catch some fish. Um, sorry, it's like the past four videos I hadn't caught fish for you guys. Sorry, I suck at fishing. I don't know what to say. Uh, 
but hopefully we'll catch some next week. First tournament of the season. Um, tune in, see you guys in. I gotta avoid these monster waves from everyone here at the background. Um, I'll tell you what, if Lake Norman's this bad, I can't imagine what Kentucky Lake's gonna be like at the national championship. But today was rough. Gotta turn around next week. Um, so tune in then. Hopefully I'll catch some fish for you guys. Um Please like the video and subscribe. I swear I catch fish sometimes. Um, check me out on Instagram where you can see proof of past fish I've caught. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Later.